Here's how to make a fantagram using Photoshop. I've already got my left and right images open that I photographed and I, I shot roughly down at a 45 degree angle and I used an ordinary sheet of white paper as my reference plane. It's important that whatever you use for this plane you remember the aspect ratio of it because you'll need that later. You notice that I didn't get the alignment of the camera just right so the horizontal line at the bottom here, the paper, isn't exactly lined up with the frame. So let's use the measure tool to correct that. I'll click at this edge of the paper and drag along to the other corner. Then I'll go back again and option click, drag, and hit the shift key and that will force that to be horizontal. Photoshop will automatically measure the angle between those two lines. So now I can go into rotate can canvas arbitrary it will automatically fill in that angle. I need to rotate counterclockwise to correct this. So this will rotate and make that line horizontal. Now I choose my crop tool. At this point I want to fill in the aspect ratio that I used for my reference plane. And in this case I've already typed in 8.5 by 11. So now I just click and drag a rough box. And then I go and make sure that the perspective is checked. That will allow me to take each individual corner and place it across the reference points that are made by my sheet of paper that I used as my reference plane. You want to do that as accurately as possible. You probably even want to zoom in to each one of those corners as you do this and, and get it precisely because you're going to need to do both images exactly the same. So now that I've got that done I just hit return and it will automatically crop and scale this. To shrink it down to fit it on the screen again. And now I do the exact same thing to my right image. Well, I've already done that to save time. So now I want to make uh, an anaglyph out of this. So I go into my left image and I select the red channel, select all of it, copy it, go into my right image, select the red channel and paste the left image red channel information into my right image. Turn on the little eye icon so I can view all the uh, um, color channels. Now at this point all I need to do is crop this image. Uh, I think I'll crop it for a 4 by 6 inch print. The thing to, to remember when you crop it is be sure to include the shadows. The shadows are a very important part of the image. If you block those off uh, it won't look natural when you look at the fanagram. Okay I've included the shadow. I've got the cropping right. And there's my finished fanagram. Don't need this anymore. And we can just save that and print it.